Don't eat it all because these guys want to have it. <laughs> Good luck with that. But I have had spring rolls before with this seaweed in there, so I'm just gonna give it a go today. I'm not gonna use a lot of it, but we're gonna try it. And I wouldn't mind, you know, just seeing what that feels like. So our ingredients today, and you're not gonna have this at home, so don't worry about it. And you can't replace it with anything else. This is a very traditional um, ingredient in Indonesia. So let's just honor it and put it aside for a minute. And then we can see what you can do at home with spring rolls. So I've got some incredible, um, fresh sprouts, which are really fresh by the way. Um, gorgeously sprouted, they're amazing. Some grated carrot, some standard um, cabbage, like a normal um, garden cabbage, that's what I like to call it. And we've got some shiitake mushrooms, which were dried and we soaked them overnight, which is cool. Some shallots and um, some, some garlic and a bit of chili and soy sauce and this seaweed. And seriously, all I'm gonna do is make flavor. That's what we're going to do, ladies. So I've got my friends here with me and we just want to make flavour. And Christina, my girlfriend, has made this the other week and she was like, oh, I made these lumpia, these spring rolls the other week and I did it like this. And I'm like, okay, how'd you do it? It's really good. Just because I'm a chef doesn't mean that I know all the things, right? It's like, no, I don't. And when people are cooking around me, it's like, I want to know what you're doing because it's really quite amazing. Okay, so I think a nice big pan on this portable stove and we'll start cooking and creating this flavor and this is what you need to do with spring rolls you need to cook the middle sorry cook the filling first and taste it and if it's like whoa this is amazing and everyone agrees then we wrap them and fry them gonna find a pan i think we, you found one before right in this glory <laughs> where with every cupboard we open it's like oh my god there's, there's something, something there's something new when you're in someone else's house it's like hilarious I want to get this nice and hot. Um, and I want to cook the garlic first to make that flavour. <sighs> yummy, yummy, yummy with the um, with the shallots actually. And then everything just kind of gets layered on, which is delicious. Mm. Would you put in sesame seed oil? Oh, that's natural. Making this nice and hot. And I bought my own sesame seed oil and these little cute little bottles. Just one like a teaspoon, not a lot, yeah? goes that garlic which got some random carrots in there but that's okay we're on holiday oh cute spoon look at that i love it oh my god <laughs> it's so true it's like when you're in someone else's kitchen you're like oh what have they got and then they got some things that really work okay so i just want to sweat this down i want to create flavor um salt and pepper oh so cute oh. Oh, did you bring our salt and pepper with it with us? Yeah. You're so cute. Smart. You're smart, D. Thank you, sir. Well done. Mmm, can you smell that? Yeah, lovely. If this is smell of vision, it smells like onion and garlic cooking. Okay. Next we'll go the cabbage. So I've got a really nice big handful, look at that, of that cabbage. And then another one of that shredded cabbage. And then I've got one incredible carrot that kind of went a long way. Look at it. <laughs> Good, didn't it? I've got these mushrooms. I'll just keep those for a minute actually because they've got a lot of water content in them. Some chili flakes. Some more pepper. And you just want to cook this so it wilts down. Is that a word, wilts? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Smells good, girls. Mm. Okay, I'm adding the mushrooms now. It's been like a minute, right? Do you think, yeah. two minutes? Yeah. Two minutes of cooking. It is on a high heat and the heat's actually starting to go down a bit because the cold, when I put the shiitake in, the shiitake. I'm gonna add that seaweed in now too. Yum. Make 
actually another handful. Okay, we're good, we're looking good here. What sort of flavor's happening here? And where the balance is, and I might have to add some more salt and pepper. And this is the thing, right? You just gotta do things as you go. I really wanna shake this pan around. taste. She's got a little smell first. You can smell it. Oh, that shiitake mushroom is beautiful. Okay. More salt. More pepper. Definitely need a little bit of soy sauce, which I'm using tamari today. another taste after the soy sauce and more salt and pepper's gone in. That view is amazing. Yum. Oh my god, that's so cool. More soy sauce. And this is the thing, right? You're just balancing flavour as you go, just doing it your way. If you want more chilli, add more chilli. Definitely needs more pepper. Slowly, slowly. This has been about, what, eight minutes, you guys, cooking? Five to eight minutes. So it's not long, I'm gonna turn it off now. And have another taste. Actually, I need my taste testers to come and taste this. Girls, can you come and taste this, please? because they're, they're my foodie girlfriends. Actually, you know what? You said this the other day, Christina. She was like, oh my God, isn't it great we're all foodies? And I was like, hell yes. It's amazing. Can you guys taste it and tell me what it needs? Me, mm -hmm. more salt, and mm -hmm. then sweet, something sweet. Sugar, right? Uh, maple maple. Syrup. maple. Good job, guys. So a little bit more soy sauce. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I might put that little bit of maple in here, yeah? Yeah? With the soy, with the tomato. Okay, Christina, do you want to mix that for me? And then taste it again, do you? Tell me what you think. Good job, mate. Thank you. Okay, we want to let that cool completely before we use wrap it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to sit it there. We're going to do our things, maybe go for a swim, come back and wrap them. Fabulous. And what you're gonna do is either use tongs or this, and it's gonna go straight into the oil. And we just wanna brown them. And just stay with it and don't walk away. Like, really don't. Um, and be mindful, yeah? Because oil and water react, and there is a lot of water content in this filling, so just be really mindful. These looking good, girls. Yes. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. I want them to be crunchy. So as soon as they're ready, you're going to take them and drain them. Okay, make sure you just get all that oil out like this. It's even still dripping out as I'm shaking. And then straight onto this paper towel and rinse and repeat, people. Sesame seed oil, tamari soy sauce, that's what I meant. Um, chili, maple, salt and pepper. Actually, just pepper and a little bit of water for the dipping sauce. Ho, 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 that's it, really. From the island of Limbongan. Whew. So good to have you in my world. If you're new to my world, subscribe to this incredible channel where we get to roam around Bali and um, parts of Indonesia and we get to cook in our amazing studio kitchen. All the things, vegetarian and vegan food. Okay, see ya.
Don't eat it all because these guys want to have it. <laughs> Good luck with that. Let me know how you go making these. And that's just a little bit of dipping sauce to bring home, right? Mm. Look inside. That's amazing. Shit tucky mushrooms. Shit really nice. tucky <laughs> mushrooms with our spring rolls. And listen. Mm. It's called a crunch. That's the shit. It's what you want. See ya. Bye. <laughs>